The romantic or affinity system in Dragon's Dogma blossoms through giving gifts or finishing particular quests. Nonetheless, not all affinities lead to romantic options. Some may simply foster deeper friendships based on individual preferences. In our Dragon's Dogma 2 Romance Guide, we focus on two characters, Wilhelmina and Ulrika, who have confirmed romance scenes accessible upon completing their respective character. Specific quests. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Dragon's Dogma content. Let's first delve into how affinity and romance mechanics function in Dragon's Dogma 2. Throughout your journey, you'll encounter numerous characters with whom you can cultivate relationships. The romance and affinity system primarily revolves around the act of giving gifts to these characters. You can initiate gift giving by engaging in conversation with named characters. Within the dialogue interface, you'll find a prompt specifically for gifts. Pressing this button opens your inventory panel, enabling you to select an item to present to the character. This mechanic applies to individuals ranging from key story figures to everyday vendors, innkeepers, or even ox cart drivers. It's worth noting that affinity can only increase once per day, necessitating periodic rest breaks between gift giving sessions. To discern the preferred gifts of a character, consult the History Logbook tab. Each character has specific items they appreciate, ranging from elegant offerings like flowers to luxurious items like gemstones. High affinity with characters is often evident through subtle cues, such as blushing during conversations or the granting of rewards. For example, you may discover a note posted outside your player home containing gifts upon reading. Merchants may also extend discounts on their goods as a token of appreciation. Additionally, for those seeking a more direct approach, Vernworth, the capital city, boasts a brothel where gold can secure brief cut scenes without the need for gift giving. In addition to the general affinity system, certain characters in the game have their own quest arcs that can lead to brief cut scenes. These romance options are integrated into the main storyline of the game and involve characters such as Wilhelmina and Ulrika. Completing their respective quest arcs will unlock these romantic interactions, offering players a deeper engagement with the game's narrative. Wilhelmina, the proprietress of the Rose Chateau in Vermund's capital, caters to a clientele of influential nobles, wielding a blend of enchanting charm, intellect, and open-mindedness. To embark on a romantic journey with Wilhelmina, you must undertake her quest. Every rose has its thorns, which becomes available after completing all of Captain Brant's quests. Once Brant directs you to Batal, head to the Rose Chateau Borderly in Vernworth to initiate the quest. Upon entering the chateau, ascend to the second floor and inspect a hole in one of the bedrooms to converse with Wilhelmina. Accept her quest wherein you must gather three pieces of evidence implicating Allard's misdeeds. After successfully collecting the evidence, return to the Rose Chateau Borderly and speak with Wilhelmina in her chambers. Present the murder report obtained from Allard's estate during the previous quest. Upon completion of this dialogue, pledge to continue aiding Wilhelmina, thereby initiating her romance route. Once committed to assisting Wilhelmina, she will disguise herself and approach Allard, situated in the adjacent room. Respond to her signal by entering the room, seizing and subduing Allard. A cinematic sequence unfolds as Wilhelmina unveils herself and dispatches Allard. However, his demise alerts the guards, prompting an escape through the window alongside Wilhelmina. Subsequently pass the time until the following evening to progress the quest. Return to Wilhelmina's quarters in the Rose Chateau Borderly on the subsequent evening to unlock her romance scene. Upon its conclusion, you'll receive her Ring of Benevolence as a token of gratitude marking the quest's conclusion. Ulrika, the youthful leader of Melv, is characterized by her profound sense of responsibility and dedicated training to safeguard her people. When the Arisen sustains injuries during the dragon's assault, she assumes the role of caretaker, nursing them back to health. To embark on a romantic journey with Ulrika in Dragon's Dogma, Two players must undertake her questline,
which commences with the re-advent of Calamity side quest. To initiate this quest, enter Ulrika's house in Melv, where a heated exchange between Martin and Ulrika unfolds. This altercation prompts Ulrika to depart her beloved city seeking refuge in Harva village, situated to the left of Vernworth Castle. At Har Village, Ulrika can be found near the general store. Engage her in conversation to delve into her recent experiences, setting the stage for the subsequent steps in her questline. Following this encounter, complete the quests Trouble on the Cape and Home is where the hearth is to progress Ulrika's romance arc. After concluding Trouble on the Cape, allow a few days to pass before informing Ulrika of the events at Harvey Village. Subsequently, Ulrika will request a private discussion later in the evening, signaling the culmination of her questline and the potential for romance to blossom between her and the player character. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could take a moment to hit that subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up by hitting the like button if you found it helpful. Your support really means a lot to me, and it helps me create more valuable content like this in the future.